Hey yo, what's up guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix the rendering problems that you guys were having in two how to render videos. Or I'm just going to show you how I render my videos. The rendering problems that you guys were having is when you add transition to the uh, video clip and you play the video in the preview box, the transition looks just fine. But after you render the video and you look at your final product, uh, the transition doesn't show up. Or like, let's say if you do like zoom in transition, in the preview box, it looks just fine, like it zooms in in the middle. But after you render the video, it doesn't zoom in in the middle. Um, I'll have the video playing right now. If you guys had this problem, you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. So to fix that problem, all you have to do is render the video as the same size as your project file or like the video. This is what you want to do. Um, right click on the video clip. Go to properties and then head over to media and you want to look at the attributes and the frame rate right here so you see this number it says 1280 by 720 and the frame rate is 23. go to settings right here where the uh where the preview box is right here and then you want to look at this see those two numbers matches before you render the video, make sure you want to highlight the area that you want to render. So just double click on the empty space, just like this. You want to highlight the area and then file, render as, oops, let me uncheck this. For, so for you, it might look like this. So what you want to look for is Sony AVC slash MVC, or you can use this one, main concept, this one right here. AVC slash AAC but I recommend you to use this one click internet click customize template and you want to change this to uh, the number we saw earlier like from here from the settings so that was this one 1280 by 720 and also the frame rate which was 23 that's how you fix this problem. If you want to save this, go ahead. I'm not going to save it. Click OK. And then render. Okay, guys. So now I'm going to show you how I render my videos. So this video, I'm uploading the video to YouTube. So you have to know the size. So this is what I do. I open my editing software, which is Sony. And then I go here, the setting wheel thing. And then I go to template. Click this drop down menu. And I go to uh, this this one right here HD 1080-24p this one because that's the um this is the YouTube size and for the FPS or the frame rate right here you can really choose whatever you want I'm just gonna show you um 60 FPS I know it says uh 59 but it's really 60 FPS and for the other settings like right here you want to keep them the way they are just like my settings so for this one, uh, disable resample, blend fields, Gaussian blur, whatever, how, how you, however you say it, and best, blah, blah, blah. Okay. So now if you want to use this template every time you open your Sony Vegas, just click this one. Boom. But I don't like to do that, so I'm just going to click apply. Okay. Before you click OK, just make sure to save this. I already saved mine as AMV, blah, blah, blah. You can save it to whatever you want. Save it. Click this one. Boom. And once you save it, just go at the bottom. It should be there. Click OK. And now let's drag a video. I have this Naruto clip. Uh, Naruto whole episode. <laughs> so if this box pops up, just click no. And if, if it doesn't pop up, uh, this is what I want you to do. Just go here make sure they are the same settings so before we render the video you obviously want to select the area that you want to render so let's say i want to render this only this part make sure you click this loop thing on and uh also right click disable this and maybe this one okay now we're good to go click file render as uh, you want to look for this one right here click this drop down menu thing internet customize template 
now we have to match this settings with the other settings that we chose last time so th this looks good and we have to change this one to 60 fps and now uh for audio you can leave it just like the way they are or if you know what you're doing go ahead and change them and name it to whatever you want 60 fps click this boom is it is saved click ok add this to your favorite list now all you need to do is render 